Hello, and welcome to the Go Canvas Essentials course. This is the second video in the Getting Started with Go Canvas session. In this video, we will be discussing the basics of using our form builder and making a submission. Once you are logged into your Go Canvas portal, go to the Forms tab and click Create New in the upper right corner. If you have web forms enabled, this will be a drop down menu, and you should click Mobile Form. If web forms are not enabled, it will simply place you on the next page. On the next page is what we call the path to our builders. On the left side is the option to start with a blank canvas or a template in our current builder. On the right side is the option to start in our builder beta. We will primarily be using the builder beta in this course, as it is the feature of our builder experience and also the same interface for our web forms. If you wish to learn more about the current builder, please visit our help center. The form builder is broken into three sections. The left section is the field library where you will see the field type options. Each field type serves a specific function and makes filling out the form more efficient for your users. The center section is where you will build out your form by adding screens and fields. The right section features two preview options, preview and screens. Running across the top of the form builder is a bar that includes the form name, a toggle between the form builder and the PDF designer, the editing version, as well as save, test, and publish buttons. Additionally, the message at the very top of the form builder allows you to roll back to the current builder. This is available because builder beta does not yet have all the functions that the current builder has, and you may hit those limitations before your form is complete. When you roll back to the current builder, you cannot return to builder beta for this form. So we recommend you do as much as you can within the Builder Beta before reverting your form because Builder Beta is a faster, more intuitive form building experience. Before we start building our form, let's give it a name. Next, let's add our fields and screens. There are several methods to add fields to your form in Builder Beta. The first is to simply click the field you want from the library and it will appear next on the form. You could also click and drag the field from the field library and place it where you want it. Additionally, once there are at least two fields in your form, hovering between two fields will reveal a plus sign that will allow you to add a field between those two existing fields. Lastly, if you click the Add Field button, you can type the field name, hit Enter, and another field will be added to your form. Although the default field type is text, certain words trigger the feature Smart Fields. Smart Fields are an excellent way to build your form quickly by using keywords like date or signature. A list of smart field triggered words can be found in the Help Center. After you add all your fields, you can always update the field type in the field settings. You can use the plus sign that appears between two fields to add screen breaks where they are needed, or press Add Screen in the center of the form builder. Screens are for when information only needs to be entered once. In order to create fields that can be filled out more than once, press Add Table. Tables are like Excel spreadsheets, or Google Sheets, where the field labels are the column name and the values entered create the rows. You can add as many rows or values as you need to a table. Tables have many applications, but material costs, photo logs, and time cards are common use cases. A cool feature of Note is the test button, where you can test your form in the web browser. In the current builder, if you want to test your form, you will have to publish the form and switch to the Go Canvas application to test before returning to the web browser to continue building. In the builder beta, you can conveniently test your form without leaving the form builder. Please note that some functionality is still being added to the test function while builder beta is still in development. Additionally, there is an undo redo button that will allow you to quickly fix mistakes. Once your form is built, save and publish your form to your device. If you have not done so already, download Go Canvas to your mobile device, tablet, or Windows desktop computer from the Apple App Store or Google Play Store. Or you can visit gocanvas.com m to find links to download the application to your device. Open up the application and log in using the same credentials that you use to log into the portal. The Go Canvas mobile application has three tabs at the bottom of the phone screen. Home, where your forms and your tasks will be listed, completed, where your completed submissions will be organized by date, and the more menu, where settings and the logout button are located. In the upper right corner of the home tab is the sync button. 
that will check for new form versions, updated reference data, or new tasks. Your application will automatically sync when you log in. To fill out your new form, simply press the tile of the form you wish to fill out and the form will open. Once the form is completed, but before submitting, you will have the option to email or review the submission and the choice of several toggles that will stay on for the next submission. Hit Submit to finalize the submission. Now your submission will show up in the completed tab on your device and the submission tab in your portal. That concludes the second video of our Getting Started with GoCanvas session. Please proceed to the next session. Customize your forms and data delivery.